to J Shelf, my brand new review series that's going to cover all sorts of fun goodies from Japan. From movies to music to books and video games, J Shelf is going to have it all. So, for this first installment, I thought we could ease into the review series with something similar to the Japanese horror review show with a movie review. And this time, we're going to be looking at the 2005 film Densha Otoko, The Train Man. The story of Densha Otoko is a fairly interesting one, and it began life as a series of message board transcripts on the popular two-channel website. Now, these message board postings about a seemingly very nerdy man trying to win the affections of a very pretty girl sparked the interest of not only film and TV producers, but also the interest of the whole of Japan, as this became a huge runaway success, and many people were talking about this story. So, while we can't say for sure if the original posts are nothing more than the backings of a production company, we can say that the story has a very universal appeal and that viewers of all audiences and ages are really going to enjoy this one. The story begins with our narrator, known only as Densha Otoko, and he is coming home from Akihabara, which is the electronic district of Tokyo. Now, right away, we are introduced to this character, and we can gather that he is an otaku. He is very much into the anime and manga subculture, and as such, he's kind of socially awkward, but in general, you can tell he's a nice guy. He has a lot of social anxiety, and he's very shy. However, one day on a train, he sees a very pretty girl being harassed by a drunken man, so he bravely gets up and goes over to kind of save the girl from this guy. And this woman is very, very happy, and she wants to show her appreciation to the train man. And so she gets down his information, and later on mails him a gift. But, the gift includes her phone number. So, the very nerdy train man, not knowing what to do, rushes online to a message board. And so he gets all of this advice and encouragement from these strangers all across Japan, who are rooting for him to win the affections of this girl. So, it's really fun to watch this bumbling, kind of neurotic, kind of very awkward character uh, go through these dates, and he makes mistakes, and he makes a fool of himself at times, and it's heartwarming, it's nice. Uh, he's just able to kind of ease into being himself. The story of a nice guy trying to step out of his comfort zone and trying to fight his insecurities to win the affections of a girl is one that I think a lot of audiences will appreciate and really embrace. Surely a lot of people in the audience watching this will probably see parts of themselves, perhaps, in the main character, or at the very least they'll know of somebody whom they can relate this character to. The anonymous nature of the film also adds to this appeal in that we never are given the real names of any of the characters. They're known only by their message board titles, and so I think this makes all the characters seem much more relatable to a wider audience. The cast all do a superb job in this, and fans of my J-horror reviews will probably recognize Miki Nakatani from Ringu 2. And so, yeah, the cast is great, the music is upbeat, the setting is wonderful, there's lots of really good shots of Akihabara, so having been there before, I was really, really excited to see this in the movie. And the dialogue is witty, it's very funny, the movie has many hilarious moments and many heartwarming moments as well with the romance. So this is a movie that a lot of audiences can enjoy. Um, people of any age can really watch this. The DVD comes from Viz Pictures, and overall it's an okay job. There's nothing too much to write home about. It's got the Japanese audio with English subtitles, there's no English dub available on this one. And the extras are fairly limited. Usually, I think they were just some brief little descriptors of some of the lingo used in the film. Train Man went on to become the stuff of legends in Japan. This original story from the message board inspired not only this movie, but a television series, various manga series, the book of the same name, a, I believe, theatrical play, and probably so much more that I'm not even aware of. So this is certainly a very universally appealing story. I think if you want a movie that is very heartwarming and will have you cheering at the screen for this guy to, to make a move or to hold the girl's hand or to say those very important words, 
then I think you'll really enjoy this one. Everyone I've shown this movie to has loved it, and everyone gets so enthusiastic and excited about the movie. So, I think this is definitely a DVD that you need in your collection, and it's great for any occasion to watch. So, thank you for joining me on this first installment of The J-Shelf, and we'll be back next week with a new item to look at, but I'm not going to say what just yet. So let me know what you think of this new review show, and as always, we'll see you next time.